Hi grade 12 student. So in today's video guys we are going to discuss a balance sheet from top until the end when we prepare a total assets, total equity and as well as a liability. So we are going to do everything in this question paper. So the question paper that I have here is the one that was uh, it was paper 1 uh, of 2022. Okay. So I think it was June uh, examination. Okay. Now, the question paper that we have, guys, uh, is contain a lot of balancing figures, which uh, I'm going to teach you today. How are you going to, to treat them? Okay. Now, let's read the question and go to the adjustment. 1.2.2. Prepare the statement of financial position, which is balanced on 28 February 2022. So, our year and 28 February 2022. And they give us uh, an extract from accounting record on 28 February from fixed assets to rent income. Okay, then after that, they give us number B of share capital and dividends, which we are not going to touch that part because we are already given equity part. Okay, now let's start. Then we have transition from C to H, okay, which we are going to do them one by one. Now let's start with a fixed deposit as we have it on our balance uh, we don't have a fixed asset as you can see on the table but a fixed deposit is there okay let's open a bracket and see if we have any transaction related to it for eight ninety thousand. okay then if you check transaction number um, e 240,000 of fixed deposit will mature on 1 april 2022 so a fixed deposit is going to mature within 12 months. So if it's maturing within 12 months, uh, we need to subtract it under a fixed deposit and put it into cash and cash equivalent. Okay, it's going to be minus 240,000. Then we add it here and say 240,000. Okay, then if you, you, you check cash and cash equivalent, a balance at the end we have amount uh, okay we only have petty cash which fall under cash and cash equivalent which is five thousand a closing balance we're gonna add it together then it's gonna give us forty two forty five thousand okay even here we can also calculate because we don't have any other transaction related to it then it's gonna give us two forty nine thousand Okay, guys, when you are preparing a balance sheet, um, especially when you have answer book like this, don't start uh, from top and doing one by one until you find each and No, just read the transaction. If you find that the transaction uh, is related to loan, just do loan, then another one, inventory, and so on and so on, because you can't start from the top until you finish this part and you go to this part because some of the balance here you are going to get them as a balancing figure after you have completed the other part okay that's what i wanted to teach you in this video that we are going to do okay then another one uh let's look at the trading other receivable because we don't have inventory inventory is going to be a balancing figure okay trading other receivable amount uh, of debtors control is 875000 now let's check other transactions that are going to affect this one if you check we need to also test a uh, source income tax okay well you know that source income tax it can be assets sometimes it can be liability it depends whether we overpay or we underpay so during the year we paid for provisional tax of 450,000. Okay. If we pay 450,000 and they said that transaction number C, they said that amount that we owe SARS exactly according to the net profit is 438, which means that we overpay. If we overpay, we have to get a refund which is going to be assets under trade and other receivable. So how are we going to calculate this one? You just say 450 thousand minus four thirty eight thousand 
this is what we were supposed to pay. We were supposed to pay less, but we pay more, which means that we have to get a refund of how much? Uh, I think it's going to be 12,000 plus 12,000. Okay, just like that. All right, now let's check another one. Okay, we have provision for bad debts. Uh, provision for bad debts, of course, we need to subtract it. We have amount of 23. 1640 but this amount we need to check if we have any transition related to it okay transition number d the provision for bed must be increased by 2610 okay if they said increase of course we have to add plus 2610 you add this two then it will give you minus 26,250. Okay, let's proceed. Now, the other one that we are going to check under trading other receivable is issue of rent and test if it's going to be accrued income or prepaid or income received in advance. Okay. Let's check transaction number D. They say the tenant occupied parts of premises from 1 May 2021. He has not paid the rent for January and February. Two months. He didn't pay us, which means that he owes us his assets to us. It's accrued income. Okay. How are we going to calculate these two months? Now let's check how many months did he pay from 1 May if you count from 1 May until December, it's 8 months, which means that the rent income of 102,400 is for 8 months. We are looking for 2 months out of 8 months. Then you will get amount of uh, 17,000. We add it here. 17,950. Just like that. Okay. Is accrued income is fall under trading other receivable. I think here we are done. Then we will have amount of eight hundred and sixty-eight thousand four hundred. Okay. Now let's proceed. We already get these two, but we haven't get inventory. But inventory, we can get it because they give us what? The balance of current assets. Which means that you take this one and you minus the rest. Then it will give you inventory as a balancing figure of 966,600. Okay. Now let's proceed. Uh, the next one. Uh, we are going to transition number let's check let's check okay this one we already close it we're left with fixed assets okay let's try to push this part as well then we have transition number f okay transition number f we forgot here uh, let me check where did I do mistake. Okay, this amount of 17,950 is not for rent, but it's for transfer. Okay, let me explain it first. A, debt, a, a debit balance of 17,950 from a debtor's ledger must be transferred to creditor's ledger. In other words, a debtor that owes us, now we have to remove him here and go to also remove here, here under under what under trading other payables okay so this is what we are going to do uh, this 17,000 we were supposed to subtract it then the uh, one for rent um, the amount was supposed to be 25,000 it's going to be plus 25,000 600 but the calculation that we did is correct guys you need to say 102 
400 multiplied by 2 over 8. Okay, then you will get amount of 25,600. Alright. Now let's proceed. Let's go to transaction number. Let me check. Okay, let's adjust this one. Trade in other payable. Remember, there is this one that we transfer, which means that we need to see a creditor's control is the opening balance of trade in other pay payables. A creditor's control amount of 617, 150. Then we said minus 17,950. Then we will check the other one that fall under trade in other payables as well. Okay. Then other transaction, they said that a loan will be reduced by a capital portion of 228000 in 2023. In other words, it's current portion of a loan. Current portion of a loan, they said it's going to be 228000 Okay, guys, I hope you already subscribed in this channel. And please, guys, share with friends so that they can also learn what you are learning. All right, now let's check. We have a loan. We know that current portion of a loan affect a loan, but they didn't give us any transaction related to a loan. If you check under our recording, they give us a question mark. Okay, which means that probably we have to get it as a balancing figure. So if you check number G, we have debt equity ratio. This is the one that we are going to use to get what? Our non-current liability. Okay. Remember a formula of debt equity ratio said non-current liability is to shareholders equity. In other words, 0, 0,4, we need to multiply it by shareholders equity. The one that we have of 9,150,000. Okay. Then you will get... An amount of uh, let me check three million six hundred and sixty thousand. Then our loan will be three six sixty thousand. Just like that. This is how you should do it. Okay. Now let's proceed. Which means that there's no any working that is needed here because. The answer that you got if you are using a formula to calculate must be the final answer, not opening balance. In other words, that amount already adjusted every transaction that is here. Okay. Now, we have uh, another one under payables, uh, which we are going to read. Audit fee number D. Only half of audit fee were paid and the balance will be paid next year or next year reporting period. In other words, is accrued expense. Accrued expense is liability under trading other payable, which means that we need to check. They paid 48,000. They said it's half, which means that another half is going to be the same amount of 48,000. 48,000. Okay, we don't have any other one. Then we will close it and we get about amount of uh, 647,500. Okay, then after that, we have shareholders for dividends. Shareholders for dividends is final dividends. If you check on the balance sheet, the balance at the end of, of 2022, we have shareholder for dividends of 213, 400. Okay, now in this case, we still have bank overdraft, which we need to calculate as a balancing figure, but we need to check if we calculated everything. Okay, uh, we in this part, I think, okay, this part we already have it. Is this two? This one we have it. Okay, let me undermine. Let me underline so that we can see. Okay, now, current, current liability total. We need it so that we can calculate this one. So, in this case, we can use current ratio. Current ratio... Remember formula said current assets is to current liability. In other words, we need to multiply. Okay. 
our current assets we have it is 2 million and 80,000 okay which obviously if we are going back to liability now we need to do what to divide by 1,6 okay then it will give us uh, an amount of 1 million 300,000 then after that which means that our bank of overdraft we need to take this one and subtract the rest then it will give us 211,100 just like that it's, as, as you can see guys this uh, question paper contain a lot of balancing figures so you need to be careful when you, uh, you read the transaction because all transactions are very very important okay now because we have everything here we can calculate our total equity and liability by adding everything then if you add everything you are going to get amount of 14 million 110 thousand and you know that total equity and liability is the same as total assets which means that this one must move this side 40 million 110 000. okay now the one that we are looking for now is fixed asset okay we can work it from the balances that we have simple means that now in order for us to get total non-current asset first we need to say total assets minus current assets it will give us non-current assets okay if you subtract those two you're gonna get eleven thousand seven hundred and eighty one thousand now it's simple for you to get fixed assets because you're just going to say this one minus this one because when we get this one we add these two very simple then you will get amount Okay, so this one is uh, 12,080,000. 000. I can't be able to see. It's very hot here where I'm recording, guys. So please, guys, make sure that you subscribe because we are working hard to at least make sure that you guys, you get a proper lessons each and every day so that you will be ready for your test as well as for your examination. Please subscribe, guys. Let this channel grow more and more. Okay, now, the last part, of course, I was explaining that you need to say this one minus this one, then it will give you 11,781,000. This is how you should prepare this balance sheet. As you can see, most of the transactions were very simple, like above fixed deposit, how to calculate all these items. They were simple. Uh, how to calculate... Uh, how to adjust the shareholders for dividends, current portion of a loan, and something like this one. They were very simple. But the tricky part were using the, those formulas of our um, balance sheet in order for us to calculate what? Some other balances as a balancing figure. So you need to practice more and more this kind of question so that you will be more prepared. I'm going to see you on the next one, guys. I hope you learned something and you subscribe. And those who want to join our extra class, guys, it's still 60 rand per month. So make sure that you join so that we can go live together on WhatsApp so that you can also get more and more lesson and get a space so that you can be able to consult on WhatsApp. I'm going to see you on the next one.